Hi all, just a quick video on some liquid chrome that I've purchased to try out. I bought this Tamiya 114th uh, tanker trailer in chrome uh, a week or so ago and uh, there was a couple of bits missing on it. One of the bits was a tube that goes from here up to the top and round. Now I went online, and uh, eBay, Googled it, you name it, and couldn't find the parts for it or a parts seller. So I decided to make one myself, but how do I chrome it? So uh, I asked a question on Facebook in the radio control groups, and people were saying, um, get this uh, chrome liquid, airbrush it. Um, quite complicated, I'd never airbrushed, I don't own an airbrush. I basically just wanted a can of spray or something you paint on. So someone on there uh, recommended um, Molotow Liquid Chrome Pen. Okay, so this is what it is. If you can see that, it's liquid chrome. And it comes with like a, a, like a felt tip on it, if you can see that. If I can focus it. Uh, and it is like a pump, you pump the nib and it fills up with chrome coloured fluid. Uh, I must say, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I read the online reviews, how to use it, that kind of thing. A lot of people mentioned um, what you're going to paint. Paint it with some gloss uh, spray paint first. Let that dry and then go over it with the Molotow. Um, so I tried it on a few bits of metal and I was going to make this uh, tube for the trailer out of copper pipe and fittings. So what it did, I got some copper pipe to experiment on before I'd done anything else. And if you can focus on, on that, what I've done, I painted the copper pipe then I put some of the, the Molotow on it uh, and left it. Now, I touched it in intervals and found that don't touch it at all once you've painted it on for at least 24 hours. If you do before that, you leave uh, a blemish on it and um, it dulls it and it doesn't look like chrome anymore. It looks like silver paint. So then what I decided, try again on that little piece of pipe, um, left it. Then I th and it was nice and chrome coloured, quite shiny. And I thought, right, what I'll do, I'll put some clear lacquer on it to make it, so if you do touch it, it, you know, it won't blemish or make marks on it. Don't use lacquer. The lacquer just makes it look like silver paint, like metallic silver paint. What you've got to do is whatever you're painting, using this stuff to paint or using it on, just leave it at least 24 hours before you put any fingers or anything near it. And then what you come out with, and I'm very impressed with it, is a chrome. It's not as chromey as this, obviously. This is like mirror chrome. But that's what I made. It's hard to tell on camera, but that is really, really shiny chrome. It really works well. So what I'm going to do, I've, I made it obviously first. Stick that on there. That goes round there like that. Fix that on. So now I've got a chrome tube that I didn't have before. It's not perfectly chrome, but it's better than anything else that I can think of, unless you airbrush this stuff, which I haven't got an airbrush, so I'm not going to go down that route. It's only um, some touch up on it. Um, yeah, but I'm really impressed with it. Um, I bought, a, bought the Molotow off eBay. It's a four four mil tip. It comes in one mil, two mil, and four mil. Um, the price I paid was six ninety five plus eighty five p p and p. Now I bought this on a Friday afternoon, and it was here Saturday morning. That's how quick it was. Um, the seller's name is Craft Range Store. I'll put um, his name in the description. Um, any questions you've got 
and I can help and try to answer them for you, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.